Okay, hi, we're gonna try this again. Apparently I'm still hosting Critical. That is, uh, Twitch is getting a little weird tonight, everybody. Twitch... Twitch plays Vine Sauce. Get played. Well, I've exited host mode manually, but I don't know if I'm live. Am I live? On Twitch. Currently. <sighs> you think about how it would be to watch Vine Sauce cooked. You think about how great it would be to watch Vine Sauce raw. Maybe boiled. This is a really weird problem, but welcome to the stream, everybody. Did you get the notification from Twitch? Okay, good. Weird. Yeah, I wouldn't exit auto host. So that is a strange, strange thing. I welcome you to the stream tonight. Thank you all for joining. Uh, tonight we're going to play more Black Mesa. I'm still in the beta branch of Black Mesa. Um, I want to finish this chapter, and then I'm going to switch over to the public branch, which apparently Zen is finished. So, I'm just going to finish this up in this version, and then when I get to Zen... Alright. So, we're just going to start from where I was, and I'm going to go ahead and exit public branch. Or, yeah. Let's see, betas, none, opt-out of all beta programs, yeah? I want to break free. So I was listening to Queen today, and uh, I, I've been, that song has been stuck in my head. All right. Oh, okay. So this is going to give me Hang on a minute. That was real loud even though it's not loud. This this has given me all of the stuff I had before just about, right? Just less ammo. 45%. Okay. All right. Well, now that we're all good, just uh, in case anyone's wondering what happened, save data got corrupted because they finished Black Mesa. They did it, everybody. It's done. Well, more or less. I'm probably gonna, you know, patch it a little bit. But Zen is finished. Uh, which means that... Things are much more stable now. I say loud. You say loud. I say... Loud. We all say loud. Let's lower it down a little bit. Give me one second here. I feel like there's... Why did... Why did that happen? That was like Tom Hanks shooting the tank with the pistol. At the end of Private Ryan. Dude, you've been spamming that video. So hard. What is this video? It's... All right, give me one second here. I'm going to check this out and then we'll begin. I, I have to work out one other issue. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, well that that's a that's a nice video. I like that. Um 
Okay, so so essentially now I have to do some of this section again, but it's, at least it's not too bad. I don't have to do everything all over again. Um... Good. Alright. Well, anyway... I am here. And I had a little alcohol earlier. You are a sight for sore eyes. Head on downstairs. Okay. The old I'll... man's got a plan to get us out of this mess. Nice. Uh, okay. Am I drunk? Ye no. No, 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 no. Well, it turns out that everyone and their sister had a birthday party, and my friend had a, bur um, a Christmas party. Same thing. Uh, and my friend had a Christmas party at his sister's. And I didn't even know about it until earlier, and I just said, yeah, I'll come after the studio, I'll stop by. So I go over there, and uh, immediately I get there, and they're like, you want a shot of whiskey or tequila? Worse than this. And I'm like, where's the option for no shot? Or can't. So I did, uh, I did one. I did whiskey, and I had a couple beers. Nothing crazy, but if I make weird words, that's why. But you do that every stream. It'll, it'll be fine then. Stream will be normal. Okay. I kind of... The only reason I'm upset that I'm playing Black Mesa is I really miss the scientists. Anderson Cooper. No, I don't think that was him. I think that was a scientist. Quiet. Yeah, I just miss the, um, regular scientists a little bit. Their voices... Their... the way they look. They're very silly. They're... they're good comic relief. Um, okay, so... The Barneys are cool, and again, it does look like... They don't look like real people, necessarily, but it, it definitely is nice to see... Um, non-clones? Where the fuck am I going, chat? Maintenance, auxiliary tank, reactor. You need to restart one pump. Both places are labeled in the main area. Auxiliary tank, reactor, maintenance. Okay, so we'll go to the main area. Coolant system is this way. Oh, I see, Eric. This is just a little bit of figuring out where to go and not having the game just immediately tell you exactly where to go or funnel you into it. Okay. I need some uh, hand-holding right now in this game for uh, reasons... <laughs> But I'll be fine. This is not hand simulator survival. It's definitely not. Took that right to the face, so did he. Oh, let me survive by smashing a frog with a coconut. Any thoughts on escape velocity as a band name? Um, it sounds like you'd be making post-hardcore music. Are you doing post-hardcore? Is it called just post-core? It might be a good band name, depending on what kind of music you're making. I don't- I don't really, um... Listen, Red Vox, Red Fox, Red Box, Red Cox, 
I'm not one to uh, criticize band names. Vinny, did you see the new Red Letter Media Star Wars video? Yes. They reacted pretty much how I expected. Which is, they didn't hate it, necessarily, but they had similar sentiments to mine. And the movie. Um... I mean, it was pretty funny. I, I liked- I liked the review. They did a good job. It was 70 minutes. A resound- a resounding eh. Yeah, kinda. But, you know. I think it's funny because it's eh now, but in nine months when the Plinket review comes out, Mike is going to fucking obliterate it. So that's gonna be fun. Go down here. Ah! Major fracture detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Morphine. Listen, I'm not happy about this, but I've made my bed. And I must sleep in it. So, yeah, I mean, again, I don't really feel like, um, if it's anything I've learned from the way people react to, um, Star Wars discussion, is that it doesn't really make anyone happy. The- the Christmas party I was at for, like, a couple hours tonight was- was very, um, there were a lot of people who loved the movie. Like, loved it. They like, yo, bro, did you see how many Star Destroyers there were? And stuff like that, and I just let them have it. I- I was like, yeah! Sure! And I just, you know, I didn't want to, like, be a grouch or a grinch, and I just said, that's fine. If you like that kind of stuff, that's fine. It's nice. It's not like I hated the whole thing. I didn't. I didn't. There was some good stuff in there. Again, Adam Driver. C-3PO. There was some good stuff. But, uh, I, you know, I just wanted to... I don't even feel like really arguing about it anymore. It's just, it's so sadly divided. It's so sadly divided that, um, it becomes like a, a negative for everyone involved in a Star Wars discussion these days. And I, I don't like negativity as much as I sometimes like to criticize things a bit. And so I just let them have it, and I said, yeah, th this was cool, this was cool, I didn't like this, and... That was the end of the discussion, pretty much. So, but I liked, um, you know, I liked the review that they did, the, uh, the half in the bag. And... Again, that Plinket review is gonna be fucking great. But yeah, this new trilogy is not one that I think I'll be rewatching very much. It's just, it's just gonna be there. It's gonna just exist. It's, it's not, uh... It's not high on my list of priorities, though I would like to see Rise of Skywalker one more time, at least. And, uh, and just see... What I missed when my brain was lapsing. Because of how fucking fast the pacing of the movie was. Vinny, what's your movie of the year? I don't know. I didn't see a lot of movies this year. Uh, and I'm sad that I didn't because there's some good ones that I, I missed. But my show of the year is probably Chernobyl. Followed by The Boys. Maybe The Expanse after that. Yeah, I've been meaning to see Parasite and The Lighthouse. Those are two that I've, uh, I've missed. How do you feel about cats? I've already talked. I'm allergic to cats and the movie. Okay, we got this online, that's good. 
No, I've said it before, but I just can't wait to see that movie. I just think, um, sadly they're fixing some of the shitty special effects. And I want to see the non-fixed version. Vinny, did you ever finish Barry? Yeah, Barry was great. Jojo Rabbit I saw. Yeah, I like that movie. Chat, this is your chance to say the funny word. I, I know what word... Zawarudo. I've given you the opening. You can say it now if you want. Zawarudo. I have my own funny words, so I don't mind. You can say it if you want. I say I say the spin word. I've been watching The Witcher. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a more detailed impressions on The Witcher because I didn't um, I didn't talk about it yesterday. And I finished episode four, and I really enjoyed that. And, um... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not amazing by any means. Like, there's some cheese. But I think, um... Overall, I can say that it's a show that I'm interested in. And I think it has potential to get better. But I like... There's some really fucked up stuff in this show. And I, I like that. And, uh... I gotta say, Henry Cavill is, is really, like... In episode 4, there's a moment when, when he says, Fuck. If you know what I mean. There's a specific moment. The, the rule of surprise, the law of surprise, whatever it was. I really... Because I, I understood what that meant. He says the fuck word. But he says fuck a lot, honestly. The whole show is just fucking shit. But, um, as someone who doesn't know the Witcher series, I haven't read the books, I've only played a little bit of Witcher 3, I can safely say that this is making me enjoy the world. Some of the actors are wet blankets with no chemistry. I'm looking at you, Tris. But uh, Geralt is great. Yen is great. Uh, Siri. I don't really know much about that character because, you know, the show is still so early. But it seems like they cast it very well for this show for the most part. Um, I like the wizard man. What's the wizard man's name? Sobakin? Sokolov? Sob Sobaloba? Dovakin. It's a Stregobor. Stregobor, yeah. Someone said the books are better. Well, most ad adaptations you could say that for. But this is good because you can watch a show and, and let it play out, you know, and, and, um... You know. You can be lazy and just watch the show. But I like the, the combat's good. Um, Henry Cavill does a good job with the combat. Sure, they could have gotten someone older, more grizzled for Geralt, but I think... Considering Henry knows the material really well, loves the books, loves the game... I think, um, he just gets the, the mannerisms really... ...right. Geralt is younger in this series. Yeah. Well, so again, I don't have- The Witcher is not precious to me. It's- it's just a series that I- I liked Witcher 3 well enough, and I, um, may one day play it again. But I can tell you that the show is not Game of Thrones Season 1. Which, let me say, Game of Thrones Season 1, even if you don't like Game of Thrones, fine, I get it. Especially now, I get it. But, Season 1 of Game of Thrones was a fucking solid season of TV. It had a very, very good pacing. It was grounded in reality on a- on a large- to a large degree. I hadn't read the books before I watched season one of Game of Thrones, and I couldn't stop thinking about that goddamn show after watching the first season. And then I watched it another two times. So... You know, I loved that season of- that was a great season of TV. 
And, um... So this show is not that. It's a different thing, and, and high fantasy, of course. There's some, like, weird special effects. I can't believe Sonic the Hedgehog made a cam cameo in the Witcher TV show. But, it's fun. The combat's good. I can see what's happening when the dude fights. Which is a refreshing thing for um, a, a show with this much combat. The combat is not good. You don't like the combat in The Witcher? It, it, it's no taken 15 jump cuts to get over a fucking... You know, fence. The first episode had good combat, after that I don't know. Okay, well fair enough. Let me- I'll tell you what, let me watch the rest of the show before I tell you definitively whether or not the show has good combat. But for now, based on what I've seen, I had... Um, I, I thought it was pretty good. And the jump cuts were very light, and, and I could see what was happening. Oh. Okay. It already got approved for a second season. Well, that's the new way to show you have faith in your show, just to immediately renew it before it even airs. Um, also, yes, the Sonic the Hedgehog thing, people are wondering why. Is Sonic the Hedgehog really in the show? Yes, he is. It wasn't Sonic, I'm sorry. It was Larry the Hedgehog. But there is a hedgehog-human hybrid in the show, and I think you'll enjoy him. It's like an OC. Yeah, it was Geralt's OC. Sorry, everybody, I made a mistake. Um, but yeah, after The Expanse, The Expanse hit a really uh, nice stride, and this is season one of Witcher, so I feel like, you know, if they just work out some of their bullshit, figure out how to do this show right, and like, really nail the tone and get some better performances. Maybe recast a couple people. I think it could be cool. But, it's something fun to watch, and uh, it's making me want to play The Witcher 3. So, that's my initial, unprofessional, dummy review of The Witcher TV show so far. I love this weapon. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I love the glue on gun in this game very much. Opinion on force healing. Maybe Yoda did it. <laughs> so I didn't work out. No, we're not doing- we're not going back into Star Wars. I want to say, though, I really, um, enjoy Carl Weathers in the- the Mandalorian. I think he is- it's nice to see him again. So, at least there's that. I still need to do... You are here. I need to... I guess I have to go into tank number one. Alright. This is tank number one. No, I mean, I, I need to actually go into the tank, you know? What did I think of Babu Frick? Cute. Gonna sell a lot of toys. Your Sharona on Pedro Pascal. I like Pedro Pascal in Game of Thrones. 
I think he does some good physical acting in Mando. And, um... I just like the dude. It seems alright. Seems like a good actor. I met him. Kind of. He was outside, um, a theater. He was doing some off-Broadway thing, and I saw him... Maybe, like, in the summer. And I wanted to say, hey man, excited to see you in The Mandalorian. But, um, he was- he had, like, ten people around him, so I didn't bother- Oh, shit! So I didn't bother him. Um, but I got very close to him, so I guess I met him. I guess we're best friends now. Someone said he isn't the body actor of the Mandalorian 90% of the time. I don't think 90% is correct. I know he's got a body double for a lot of the more strenuous stunts, but for just stuff where he's walking around and doing, like, acting scenes with people. From what I've read, and again, I might be wrong myself, I don't think... Unless you can get me a stat... ...on how much he's actually playing the character. Um, I, I thought it was all scenes that were not specifically combat. Sixty-nine percent. All right, that's a stat. It is a statistic, so technically you're correct, yeah. Vinny, statistics are backed up by data. That's just a percentage. Look at this... Wise guy. Telling truths. Who does he think he is? Must be a scientist, huh? Look at this fucking guy. How long until they do another sequel? Well, here we are on Star Wars again. Um... I think three years. I believe three years was what they said. If they're smart, they'll take a little longer and actually fucking plan something out properly next time. And get the right people involved. And, uh, have nothing to do with Skywalkers or, or Palpatines. Or Alpatines. Or heart palpitations. But hey, chat, listen, we have the Star Trek Picard to look forward to. Which looks like Star Wars, but with an elderly man doing the acting. I hope they don't have him punching people. I love Patrick Stewart. The dude is up there in age. I, I just want to see him act. Just do his job. Be Picard. He doesn't need to punch people. He just needs to just be himself. And that will be fine. If he becomes, like, action hero man, I'm gonna be a little upset. Thoughts on Ghostbusters Afterlife? Yeah, I know it can be... It can be a little lame of me to say I already talked about it, go look for it in a previous video, but I've already talked about that like three times. Your videos are like two hours each, though. I know. I know. That's why I, I feel bad about saying, like, I said it and go search for it. Because who the fuck even knows where I said anything? I don't even remember specifically where I said it. Vinny, what's your favorite Christmas cookie? I like, um... Gingerbread's okay. I like butter cookies, weirdly enough. Like the Danish butter cookies. 
I like those. Bet you're glad I got this old sidearm on me, aren't you? I, I just uh, mostly like brownies. Which is not a cookie, but yeah. Do not linger, Dr. Freeman. You've turned on the pumps. Now take the access pipe, flood the core, and get on up to the labs without delay. Hey, did you hear something? Did you see that, that thing with the missing leg? You ever seen anything like this? Any idea of how many of our crew have died? You're biting off more than you can chew. How many dimensions has this Barney died in now? This poor Barney that did not deserve any of this. Almost at Zen, everybody. Just be, be a little bit patient, we'll get there. It's amazing how now I'm more looking forward to Zen than almost anything else, whereas the original Half-Life... It's like, oh no, we're almost at Zen. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's... It's a little rough. Oof, ah... Uh... Did I just, like, did his ass deflect that? His ass armor? Lot more ammo stockpiled. <sighs> I don't want to waste my glue on ammo, but oh. No, 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 all this ammo, this is default ammo, like, for my explosives in particular. Notice I don't even have... ...snarks. It's because, uh, I had to... ...select the map. Because my save file was corrupted because of this update. For anyone who, uh, just joined. So this isn't even my... ...previous save file. Babu Frank. I 
I think, uh, Gordon died the same amount of times that he killed Barney. Vinny, how are the holidays treating you? It's not my favorite time of year, if I can be totally honest with you all. That said, they're going pretty well this year. Um, they are... They're going okay because... I've been lucky to have been invited to a number of little Christmas parties, and that, that's made me feel real nice. And, uh, to be around some people that I both know fairly well, and acquaintances that I don't know well that I get to learn about through conversation, Talking about games and music and stuff, and it's it's been nice. I like that. So that's been my holiday so far. Slime Girls, yeah, we get to talk about them. Today I talked about Super Metroid with someone for a little bit. It's like... It's kind of interesting how many people still play classic games. And... Vinny, you're an introvert, right? I am an introvert that... I think I need to kind of define it better because I think people, when they hear introvert, is like, Oh, Vinny doesn't leave his house. I like to go out quite a bit. I just need a lot of time to myself. I need a lot of time away from people afterwards. So, I'm kind of an ambivert. More introverted than not, and I do like to stay home. But I, I get, like, stir-crazy, and I like to be out as well. But, like, after a convention, for example, I need to be alone for, like, three, four days. Um, so I like to be social, and I enjoy being social very much, but I just don't always want to do it for a ton of time. So there you go. Do you consider streaming an introverted or extroverted activity? Kind of both. I mean, I definitely feel like it requires some mental energy to, to do, because afterwards, when I'm done streaming, I generally like to shut the fuck up for a couple hours and just not talk to anyone. Unless I'm going out after, which happens. But, um, it's not the same type of social, because I can shut my mouth for a little bit and just play the game. Like, I, I'm not put on the spot for a response. I can, um, I can go at my own pace. Swim in the hole you just opened? Oh, I didn't even see that hole. Someone said if you need to be around people 24-7, that could be a problem. I mean, there are people that get energy. I mean, the difference between an extrovert and an introvert, the way I understand it, is there are people that recharge and get energy from being around people. And that's not me. It, it drains my meter slowly. Three point six Rontgen. Not bad, not great. And yeah, some people are draining. Yeah, there are people that are like conversation hogs, or like you you become like a conversational hostage, which can happen, and that isn't fun because I like to be nice to people, and it's hard for me to be a jerk, or... You know, I just- I'm just honest. Like, listen, I'm- I'm, like, not feeling... I'm gonna go over there and just relax for a bit. Ah, oh, goddammit. Or if I'm at a convention, and there's, like, a lot of people trying to get my attention, I usually just am honest. Like, listen, I've been talking all day. I need to relax a little bit. Most people understand. I think most people I've ever met at a convention where I was, like, honest and very, like, nice about being honest about it have understood. And if they don't, that's usually a them problem. Considering, you have to imagine I've been up for hours and have spoken to, you know, hundreds of people over several hours. It's, uh... Of course it's draining. You know? Um.
There we go. What did I do? Oh, uh, you know, just doing cool stuff. Just, just some super cool things. Vinny, would you say lizards are better than cats? I would say I'm less allergic to lizards than cats. But, um, lizards don't have the number one box office fucking bomb in the world right now. And if you're the worst at- if you're the best at being the worst, that counts for something. Control key just came off. I'm not kidding, it just came off. Fuck. What happened? I was like, wait a minute, did I press the right key? It broke. It actually broke. Like the plastic on the inside of the thing just like cracked. Oh, it's all. Oh, god damn it. Alright, I'm gonna replace left control with right control. Let's see how that works. I did it. It's fine. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never seen that before. I've never done that before. So I used left control to crouch. Now my right control is going to be all fucked up. It's like... It's like wonky and loose. Bind mouse wheel down plus jump. Yeah. I think there are extra keys. I remember getting in this keyboard uh, extra keys. It's a Corsair. God damn it. You can order a single keycap as well. Really? Maybe I'll um, email John Corsair and say I'm a big important streamer man. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, Mr. Corsair, I'd like to let you know that I'm a very important hashtag gamer, and I'd like to also not pay for this 35 cent key that I could, um, I could have easily ordered with less hassle. Vinny, have you ever used right control key in your life? No, not really. It is the inferior control key. Honestly, if the left one, like, breaks again, then I'm going to- I'll even, like, at some point during the break, I'll take a picture of it. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see where the plastic, like, snapped off. But, um, if the left one, if this new left one I have snaps again, then I will write a strongly worded led to led to to John Course. Wait, does that hurt? Oh, it does hurt. Benny, if you could have a weapon of any kind of fiction, what would you... what would it be? Fiction or not, what would it be? Gravity gun sounds fun. Lightsaber has always been a, a thing I would, I would have liked. Deckard's gun? I, you know, you can own Deckard's gun, it just doesn't shoot real bullets. There's a, a replica so good that they used it in 2049. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. I'd want something, like, absolutely insane. So, like, the portal gun, or the gravity gun, or a lightsaber. Just something that wouldn't even be possible. A gal gun? Ah. The fifth element gun. That's a cool one. It's not like I really need a weapon. You know, I'm not like, um, in a situation where I need to have a weapon, so I'd probably go for, uh, something more practical for my everyday life, so like a prop spawn gun, or like I said, the portal gun or the gravity gun. Yet, yeah, I know. The gamer revolution, I guess, is, has not started yet, huh? But think about a portal gun, alright? You travel to any place in the world that you think is great. Like, say you like Australia. You want to go to the Gold Coast. You want to just, like, chill out over there every now and then, maybe during the winter when it's too cold out. You have to travel there effectively one time. And then the rest is just going through the portal. You don't even have to travel back. You just, like, use your portal. Then other people could use your toilet, uh, portal, portal? Well, anyone can use your toilet if they break into your house. That's why you gotta, you know, set it up properly. Like, you gotta hide it in a cave. You remember my, um, my Minecraft... ...nether... ...portal? Where I hid it in, like, a cave? Like, it, it went... ...um... ...in, like, a weird, like, mountain side? Something like that. Maybe you can, like, rent an apartment. Like, the cheapest, scuzziest apartment. Speaking of portals, um... So, yeah, just get the scuzziest, like, um, time sh not timeshare, like a condo or whatever. Build your own shack, lock it up. Put a portal over there.
I mean, there's other things. I'm sure you can use a portal gun t to uh, change your life in other ways. Like, you could probably charge... Like, your job could be using the portal gun to transport goods. Like, you could, you could, like, have the fastest delivery service on the planet and never tell anyone your secret. Alright then. Smuggling. Not auto fellatio, chat. Not auto fellatio. Not that. Don't you know Marilyn Manson broke a rib trying to do that? It's dangerous, even with portals. Don't do that. That was a rumor. No fun allowed. Alright, well then, you know. Do what you gotta do. Don't tell me about it. I don't want to know about that shit. doing? There should be a portal here, no? Do I have to, like, find a vent or something? Use the teleporters. Well, I did, but they... Keep going down the hallway. You go there later. Oh, I see. Did you know that Babu Fra uh, Frick, his real name is Robert Frank? Now we have portals. Again, I always forget about this game mechanic. Ah! Science, 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 science. Chat, you want to hear a secret? I think, uh, this is going to blow a lot of people's minds. No? Alright. Listen. Do you want to hear a secret? Do you promise not to tell? Alright, I'll tell you the secret. Okay, fine. Secret is that... Did you know that... Science... The word science comes from scientist. Science tist. Science tist. have the guard over there, he will say stuff every time you go through a portal. Ah, oh, damn, that sounds cool. Oh, I need water.
to Barney. Hey, did you hear something? Get on your game face, Doc. I need you this way, Barney. I need to hear your quips. Vinny, have you ever used a piss bottle? Be honest. Yep. This is your field of expertise. It was after a Beach Boys concert in Coney Island. Oh yeah, no, I'm not telling the whole story again. I'm just saying yes. This is a, a story. Oh! oh, this is a story that um, chat is well aware of, where John Stamos and Mike Love, dressed as police officers, held me at gunpoint while I peed in a bottle uh, for them. So yeah, that's that's all. The moon is right. What did they do with the piss? Oh, nothing. They just wanted to watch. Like Denny. You're the one from the Anomalous Materials Labs, aren't you? I recognize you. Shucks. I thought you were the pizza guy. <sighs> uh... Yeah, speaking of pizza, what are you guys eating down here? Might not want to stick around too long, Doc. These two bicker on like an old married couple. We are an old married couple. What do you mean, old? Holy hell. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was nice. It's a good little interaction. Oh yeah, portals make you shit yourself. I mean, I'm just assuming now, but... Let's just go in a circle. Like Steve Urkel. If you want to spit some fresh, all you gotta do is, if you run out of rhymes, just, just like, take a person whose last name uh, rhymes with the previous word. Urkel-like Urkel. Eminem does it. He's considered the best. <laughs> Circle-like Urkel Circle. The Butcher of Blaviken. Going around with no Blapkins.
fully understand where I'm supposed to be going. And why do they make us wear these ridiculous ties? Oh, I get it now. I did it. Nope, take it a ladder. That was a bad, that was a bad. I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to do all this again. Oh. Oh well. I just have to go up a ladder, that's it. Just because I wanted to be funny and shoot a turret. And, and the only one that loses out is me and all of you. Yeah, that, that's who suffer. From my stupid decision. Just me. And all of you. Wasn't funny though. Exactly, it wasn't funny. That was the point. I'll just shoot the thing, it'll be funny. Nope, nope. Gordon Freeman, you finally found us. So this is the guy, huh? Thought you'd never make it. Oh, nonsense, Hunter. Nothing stands in the way of our errant knight in shining high impact reactive armor. Guess not. Right then. This way, Dr. Freeman. We've been expecting you. You guys have this an way, HEV Gordon. suit? Here. What you see before you is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way. Uh, before the survey members started Phony. being collected themselves, that is. These readings have given us reason to suspect that there is an immense portal over there, created and maintained by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. I'm sure that you will know it when you see it. I am loath to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it. Yeah, you better kill it. No ifs, ands, or asses about <clears throat> it. Of course, you <laughs> owe us nothing, Dr. Freeman. But you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out... Well, let's put it this way. There ain't gonna be much for you to come home to. Yes. So if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. Dr. Steinman will open the gates for you. And don't let Hunter's brash attitude frighten you. We've all been a wee bit wrangled since the incident. He'll equip you with the proper armaments for the task ahead. Do hurry. That's cool. Do you know that in order to use this gun, I have to stick my arm up its asshole? Very, very cool. 
Dr. Freeman, so glad you made it. I've one What's final this noise? For you. Is that like juicy noise? This is the long very famous, very French. I created it expressly for navigation in the world beyond. Oh, it's the gun. It's the idol gun. I certainly hope you've received long jump training because once you're in Zen, you will need it. Oh, what's this? Okay, so it's not a crouch jump. In the original Half-Life, you have to do a crouch jump to activate it. Now it's just, you hold the direction, you double, double jump. It's, it's fine. If you were told Valve made this, would you believe it? I think I'd believe it, because, yeah, like, I, this feels like 85% Valve quality. Sometimes, not as much, but... Um... If you told me that a smaller team at Valve was on this project, I would probably believe that. But it's still wonderful, and I love it very much. Well, let's see. Let's see what Zen looks like. I don't, you know, who knows? Well, it can't get any worse than this. Or can it? So, you're actually gonna go through with this, huh? You're braver than you look. I think we're getting Half-Life Alex news tomorrow. This is my personal collection. The best military grade hardware this side of the Rio Grande. Have at it. Jesus Christ, you have every You even have that experimental weapon. Well, I am now fully stocked up. I am not fully stocked up. I don't have enough rockets. Damn, Black Mesa sure has a lot of weapons just in case aliens break through a portal, right? <laughs> Someone in chat just said stock is huge. <laughs> it's good. Thank you. Thank you, chat member. <laughs> Your best interest to get your bearings with the long jump module before you embark, Dr. Freeman. Uh, yeah, you can share it, Robin. If you have a link to, um, Cat's CG. Sure. I got here some CG mistakes. Oh, God. Oh, it's so weird. Hang on a minute, chat. I don't know how to show this. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me show you. You got to see this. This is amazing. So, so this is, um, A couple CG errors in the Cats movie, which remember, if they fix, it's going to make the movie really good. Remember that. Cause those notes are like, oh, I think he just got neutered. Cause those notes are like, oh, I think he just got neutered. Cause those notes are like, oh, I think he just got neutered. Cause those notes are like, oh, look at the collar. Just got neutered. Cause those notes are like, oh, I think he just got neutered. Cause those notes are like, oh, I think he just got neutered. Cause those notes are like, oh. Super uncanny. Really, 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 really fucking disturbing, and I don't like it. Her wrist, too? I didn't see that one. Someone said, cool seeing that before going to sleep. Cool, right, mate?
practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up! Big moment here, chat. They found a way to get the portal. Now, this experiment will go just fine compared to the one in the beginning, I promise. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We're going to do some Shovel Knight. I hope you enjoyed. These are new. Well, no, I mean, they're new to, you know, this... You haven't seen them up until now if you've only watched this playthrough. Vinny, you can make the long jump. Just kept going to the shotgun. The shotgun is not the best choice for this. Unforeseen consequences. The Expanse had a, a Half-Life reference. Unforeseen Consequences was a line of dialogue in The Expanse this season. There's another Half-Life reference, too. I don't remember what it was, though. Of HP. Good enough. Yeah, in uh, opposing force, Adrian Shepard is watching that event unfold. Also, I've never seen any of this. This is where. Uh, Black Mesa ended when I played it four years ago. Oh, I can't wait to see what Nihilanth looks like.
You just saw him. I said barely. I'm going to need some time to soak this in. This planet, um, looked very orange in original Half-Life. Well, I say planet, but, I mean, you'll see. It's just like, yeah, floating planetoids. But, uh, wow. This looks quite good. This doesn't look like the Source Engine anymore. Not to say the Source Engine can't handle this kind of thing, because it can, but... It's... obviously it can, but uh, it just looks even better than that. Holy shit. Yo, <laughs> this looks amazing. What the fuck are these things? Bodies have loot. Let's see if I can kill some of the space birds. That would be humanity if we actually did end up on a different planet. Like we bring a Glock with us. You never know. I mean, you know, to be fair, I get it. You probably want to bring some kind of space gun with you. Just in case. But me specifically shooting a Glock at these beautiful and cute space birds that are harming no one. That's not fair. I wonder... Like, what all these expeditions... Now, these expeditions took place, I'd imagine, before the catastrophe. So the Black Mesa staff have been sending dudes in suits to Zen for quite a while now. What if these are all, like, previous Gordon Freemans that just died? And I am the Gordon Freeman that has the extra life. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, so much of this is just done over from scratch.
I mean, obviously there's inspiration, the general, like, vibe of jumping, low gravity, birds, floating space rocks. So I had a dream, uh, last night about a floating island that was very interesting, chat. I had a dream... ...that I was on some kind of floating island that was in the sky. It was very peaceful. It's very nice. And... ...one of my family members was there, and... ...they were injured, and I told them, Go! You have to go back down... ...to the planet. So they left, and as they did... As they did, um, two warring factions arrived. And then I got, like, a view of the planet, of this, uh, floating island. Like Zeal, yes, like Zeal, but it was more modern, like, it looked like, um... Not Chrono Trigger, what game am I thinking of? Kind of like a more Advance Wars look. And I got like a world map view. And these two warring factions, they hated each other and they got to the island to claim it for themselves. And they caused like an imbalance in this floating island and... It started to erode. And one by one, the cities... And the places started disappearing. And... I saw it on the world map while I was playing my dream. And eventually there was only one store left and I go in there and the dude sells me a very special knife. That is not a knife. And as he's doing this, the world, like this floating island is collapsing, it's it's shaking, it's rumbling. I, I see like red lights, the sky is, is red. Something is like apocalyptic. So I get, I get the knife. There's war, there's fighting, and I'm in this grand, like, library kind of thing. And I keep going down the stairs into the core of this floating island, and people are huddled down in this, like, shelter, knowing that it's gonna fall and de be destroyed. And then I take out an egg, and I crack it on the ground, and it cracks into a symbol that kind of looked like, um... Like a, like a starfish, but with six or seven different protrusions, the, the egg. And then I sit, and then things started to calm down. And then I woke up. I don't, I don't know why that happened like that, but that was my dream. I do have a lot of wacky dreams, but that one I thought the chat would enjoy because it has a floating island like Zeal. And because of the egg. Whatever that meant. Even though the Watchmen show had eggs in it, that probably influenced me subconsciously. Alien technology sure looks a lot like our own from the early 2000s. My name is Neil Breen, and I am the savior of humanity, and I know what's best for all of us. Isn't that immoral? Leave it there, just in case anyone shows up.
I'm sorry to expose you to my horrendous laugh. That is... That is video games. If only I had an egg. I love the way they made this look. I love that it's less orange and... I, I love these- these colors that they're going for. This- this looks appropriately alien. And is more pleasing to look at. You still get your orange. You know, you still get your purple, but it's a nicer shade of purple. It's really... Visually, I- I love this. Thank you, Black Mesa Research Development Team for spending as long as you did and finally finishing this. You didn't have to. You did wonderful, so far. I- just from the aesthetics alone, I mean, I didn't even really get into the meat and, um, potato. But I love it so far. God, potatoes are so versatile. <laughs> you can do so much with them. They brought, like, a... grappling hook gun. You can boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. What the fuck? That is the coolest fucking thing ever. This reminds me of Mount Woe from Chrono Trigger a little bit. Ross, you're a... Chrono Trigger fan, right? I mean, I know you're into, uh, uh, Toriyama. Just wondering, do you consider that to be one of your favorites? He was here a moment ago. Ross hates Chrono Trigger. Could you imagine that? That would be, um... Who's Ross? Ross is, uh... A guy I work with down at the gym. Hey, I don't. Me worth that guy. Everything reminds me of Chrono Trigger, though. That's kind of my own fault. I tend I tend to look at one thing like, oh look, it's floating islands. Yep, Chrono Trigger. Oh look, it's Dragon Quest. Chrono Trigger. All right. To be fair, Dragon Quest is absolutely Chrono Trigger. It's Toriyama. <laughs> Other way around. I mean, Dragon Quest came first, and then Chrono Trigger. Frogs with swords, Chrono Trigger. Oh my god. It's a powerful jump. Vinny, have you ever played Blue Dragon? Toriyama did the artwork for that game. I remember when that game came out, and people were saying it's the next Chrono Trigger. And then it ended up being a good game, but not the next Chrono Trigger. Um, some chat members are saying it was kind of not great, and it was a little boring. That's one of the reasons I just ended up not playing it, as cool as it looked. This is, um, rather interesting. Let me, um, also mention the sound design is very nice. 
gear. Like lots of weird alien noises. Appropriately alien. Oh, these crystals are good. them. Well, they charge you. In Zen, crystals charge you. What are these graphics? That was so cool. Is this some kind of, like, survey device? The source engine is amazing. Especially now, at this point in time. And and if you can make shit like this happen with it, holy goddamn. This is like a really nice send-off to the source engine, if you think about it, considering Half-Life Alex comes out in a little while. And Source 2 will officially, the SDK, will uh, officially be released for it. So this consider this is for me is like you know the height of what source can do for the half-life thing. Oh, careful there, buddy. They worked for many years to mod it all in. You can tell. There's a little bit of post-processing over there. You see that? What is that weird cloudiness? Is that on everything, that cloudiness? Yeah, it is. I mean, it works. It's called Zog. <laughs> like, like Zen Fog Zog. After seeing Zen, would you say that your opinion has changed on if Valve made it? If you told me Valve made this, if you took a screenshot of this and said, Valve remade Half-Life 1 Zen, just from this screenshot and some of the other ones from Zen, yeah, I would say yep. I would say yes. I went from maybe to yes. Let's see if the gameplay is as compelling as it could be. So far, yes. So far, I'm enjoying this way more than old Zen. And the, the, like, the intrigue and mystery of being on an alien world is definitely here. And it makes me think of those fucking things from Ren and Stimpy again. With the giant brains and the weird lips that suck Ren and Stimpy into them. Robert Naples. No, if anyone could get me a clip of the weird giant brain aliens that Ren and Stimpy get sucked into at the end of that one space episode. I think it was Space Madness, but I could be wrong. I, I guarantee you that is not the clip. That is just a random YouTube video that's going to be like, uh-oh, stinky. Uh oh, stinky. These lads. Watching this at the age of like five 
was probably not my best move. This show was was very, very strange and kind of frightening in a weird way. But I love it. I still, those first two seasons in particular are just mental. Revisiting early Ren and Stimpy is, is a trip still to this day. It kind of made other shows, like, not as good. That's a weird statement, but I, I like Ren and Stimpy so much and the style of Ren and Stimpy and the weirdness of it and the crustiness of the art that I had a hard time picking up other shows that were contemporary to it at the time. Obviously, I got over that eventually, but um, it was like... I don't know, it just was, it was just that in line with my interests, even at a young age. Did I just contemporary to it at the time? Was that extra anus words did I use? <laughs> Redundant, not extraneous, not extraneous. Please wipe your feet. There it is. Wiped. Oh, they set up like a little habitat. And then got, uh, fucking murdered. Oh, this is so much more compelling. This reminds me of that, um... Moons of Madness game I played a little bit. Yo! HEV zombies! Totally unexpected, too. I didn't know how closely they were gonna stick to the original, like, zen thing. But I'm- I'm really glad- Didn't Valve even kinda run out of time when they were making the zen content for the game? Like, they weren't ever really pleased with zen. They- they just rushed through it. It wasn't even playtested? Yes, and they regretted it. Twenty-one years later or so, we finally get something that... ...is much more worthy. Also, Half-Life went through some revisions. Some is an understatement, but, you know, I did Half-Life 2 beta stuff, but the original Half-Life went through quite a few revisions. And it had a lot of problems early on, and the game was feeling like kind of, kind of cheap. And then they ended up, you know, really, really going back, figuring out what made the game special, and then focusing on that and iterating upon it. So probably by the time, I mean, I'm just like assuming and spitballing, but probably by the time that they actually got the thing into a state of, like, oh, this is actually a really special game. This is a really, really... big game for the genre, or it could be. They probably were like, yeah, we, we can't... we don't have any time for Zen. <laughs> got a ship. 
I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but. amazing. Such a good idea, HEV zombies. Crystal was powering a laptop. I'm telling you, man, those crystals can charge up. Oh, yeah, it is. Shit. Randomly shoot things. The head crab sounds are so iconic that they just kept them. Even if the audio is a little crusty, it's just I'd rather hear the old original head crab sounds. Especially for Half-Life 2, they though they did the same thing. Can Valve? Like, someone in chat just said, Valve, hire these guys. Yes. Actually, yes. They did. What are they working on? Nintendo. No, they didn't. Well, they, they, sh they should, maybe... Remember when Valve was doing smaller little experiments with, like, Portal? Maybe, like, uh, bringing Day of Defeat on board as something more official? It would be cool if, um... If they contracted this team to make something... ...original... ...in Source 2. And just said, hey, just go nuts, do, do whatever you want, and we'll, we'll help guide you, we'll produce, we'll publish it. Sounds like they're doing that stuff again. It does. And again, we're supposed to get some Half-Life Alex information tomorrow, so that's good. Cloth physics look pretty good. Nintendo hired this man as a meme. Oh, okay. I should know that. Where did you acquire that news? Um, Twitter? Someone that works at Valve said that they were bringing information tomorrow. Is that correct, or am I speaking out of my butt? Vinny, you're making it up. It never happened. Who said it? His name? is Gabe N. Ewell. My name is Gabe Newell. And I graduated from Half-Life.
Yeah, sorry about that. If I got that wrong, then I apologize, but I, I could have sworn. That I saw, um, someone uh, say that there's gonna be new information tomorrow. So. It's literally Christmas Eve, I highly doubt we'd get anything regardless. I was either, uh, I either experienced some severe japery, or maybe we, we were, I was expecting a Christmas present from Valve. That was a really cool sequence. I wonder if they were growing poop potatoes in there, and if Matt Damon is on this planet, because Matt Damon is always alone on planets. Does anybody want some coffee? Chat, imagine how good this feels. Imagine being in this magical pool that heals all your wounds. Instantly, your stress and your worries begin to wash away. Whiskey. Oh. figure it out eventually. Oh. So, I was gonna try to find a way to get up there to push the box down, so then I could shoot it. But that was much better. That, yes, that makes much more sense. We'll jump. Crystal power. How much energy do you think the crystal holds? Like, is it just like a super fucking battery? One... how much? One mega nut? Elon's gonna be working with crystal technology soon. Sonic the Bulldog. Mr. Burns. Spit Squid. Bire Crab? Bite Crab. That's what they- that's what they named them. That was my name.
Oh, too fast. Now it's open. Those were the development names for the creatures. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's cool. found a, a giant carrot body pillow that you could buy for a hundred dollars. And part of me was like, man, how great would it be to give this as a shitty gift for someone? But that's, that's too expensive for a shitty gift. It's too good of a gift to be a shitty gift. I feel like I'm in the Dark Crystal TV show. Yeah, those are still bad. Any you missed the cutscene? You can kill them now. Oh, okay, great. The tree impaled a bull squid. I think I saw it when I first walked in. It was very subtle. I'm gonna bring up Star Wars again for a second, but what's the name of the planet in Revenge of the Sith where the one Jedi gets gunned down and there's a lot of, like, bright... Volusia? It's amazing how quickly so many of you know that. Was Felucia in other things? Was that in, like, a, a video game at some point? Because I feel like I've been to Felucia in a Star Wars video game. Battlefront 2. Force Unleashed. It's in Battlefront 2. Didn't play Battlefront 2. I think I played Battlefront 1 only. I hear Battlefront 2 is good now. That's what people are telling me. That's what people are saying. That it got redeemed. The original Battlefront 2. Oh, yeah, then I pl Oh, yeah, of course. Then I played that. I played on that map. Gotcha. It's in the new one, too, though? Sorry, I'm half looking at the chat. Okay. So yeah, the, the Battlefront, the new Battlefront, I don't think I would spend a lot of time playing it, but part of me wants to see what, you know, does it still have pay-to-win aspects? No, it doesn't. Not at all, none. I wonder if Disney got involved. Because that was a fucking disaster. That was a goddamn PR nightmare. And then Jedi Fallen Order comes out with zero DLC. Exclusively, exclusively single player.
Those are so creepy. That animation is really good how they recoil after you kill them. Someone said that Disney did get involved. I have to ask. Do we have confirmation that Disney got involved? No, it's just an assumption. I mean, it makes sense. One guy in chat confirmed it, so it's confirmed. What does Disney got involved even mean? Um, it means... I thought I went through a wall, but I'm inside of a plant. It means that the, the horrendous PR that that game got for launching with, like, really horrendous predatory... Um... You know, pay-to-win mechanics. Um, maybe Disney stepped in and was like, listen, if you want to keep this license... Then you need to fix this fucking now. Ha oh, ha! You piece of shit! Yes, Disney. Mega corporation that owns almost everything would step in and uh, try to find a way to... Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe. The more I think about it, the more likely I'm... I mean, they didn't need Disney to say that this was a horrendous PR move just because people were giving them so much shit. Sales probably reflected it. Okay, I think I'm going to um, move on to Shovel Knight in about five minutes. How about 10 minutes? I'll give you 10 minutes. This is great. I'm, I'm really enjoying Zen, but I also want to make some progress in Shovel Knight. This is unrecognizable. This is so vastly different, it's unrecognizable as Zen. In a good way. It's just... Holy fuck. Yeah, because Zen was a lot of space platforming. Just going from floating island to floating island. This is... You know, there's elements of that so far. I'm sure we'll see more of it. But... It feels... Much more... Interesting now. Going through different biomes. Any you missed a health pool. Well, hot damn.
Goodbye, moon men. Goodbye. My name is Fart Morty. Oh, all right, these ones are a little different. Explode. <laughs> kind of running out of ammo. Save a little bit of ammo. Oh, shit. Whoa! Surveillance unit? much to say at the moment. I'm just absorbing all of this. Again, I know the engine has been upgraded over the years, but it's just stunning that you could do this with Source and have it look this good. I know Apex used it, Titanfall 2, but it's just so cool. Need to find uh, the scum plant here in a sec. There it is, the source of the scum. That hurt. Should be a crystal in here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken.
Vinny, tell us how you really feel. I love that that kind of semi became a meme. When the one person was watching me play some video game. And he was like, yeah, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? When was this? Probably a couple weeks ago. I don't even remember what game I was playing, but it was something I, I think I was enjoying. Imagine that. Imagine how that would feel. To have your ass dislocated from your fucking torso. Just detach that ass. Gotta detach that ass, Larry. Give me another... Oh, the 10 minutes is up, everybody, so 30 more seconds. Ugh. That was awesome. A lot of really interesting game mechanics that they, they found a way to implement here. Simple, but effective. Bounce on the space nipple. And uh, let's just get a good look at where we are, and then I will save and quit for next time. Alright, this is the mana tree. This is where you bring the sword. And the mana dragon will be fought here. So to be continued. Yggdrasil. Or the tree from Dark Crystal or any other magical giant tree. From any work of fiction, you name it. It's that tree. The Aoife tree. The Deku tree. The tree beard. All right, everybody, stick around for just a couple minutes. Thank you for watching. This is, this is wonderful. I'm so glad I'm at Zen now because it, the rest of the game was great. This is really, really good shit. This is fucking great. Great. Stick around for just a couple minutes. I'll be back with Shovel Knight, King of Cocks.